Amen. Good evening, everybody, and what a fitting video to play. That was that was my one of my crowning, defining moments in life was to be able to play that song along with him. Reverend Dr. Henry Mackenzie Davis, song written by D. Gerald Smith called "Oh Lord, We Praise You Who You Are." And I want and he he asked me to find that video, and boy, just every time I look at, it, I just got a smile because we had a good time playing that song, Oh Lord, we praise you just for who you are. Hey, welcome to Sunday Night Hymn Praise, and what a special hymn praise this is. We are celebrating the 76th, the 75th birthday of Elder Henry Mackenzie Davis. He is also our guest tonight. We're going to have a good time tonight. This is what I need y'all to do. I need you to like and share and let others know that we are on. Amen. Because I believe that there is a blessing for all of us this evening. We'll be right back, but put the city and state you're tuning in from, and we'll see you shortly. There are some things I may not know. There are some places says I can't go but I am sure of this one thing that God is real for I can feel him deep within yes God is Y'all sing it with me. Real in my soul. Yes, God is real. For he has washed and made me whole. His love for me is like your gold. Yes, God is real, for I can feel Him in my soul. Some folks may doubt. Nah. Some folks may scorn. All can desert hmm, and leave me alone. But as for me, I'll take God's part. For God has been real, and I can feel Him in my heart. Yes, God is real, real in my soul. Yes, God is real, for he has washed and made me whole. His love for me is like your gold. And we thank you all for liking and sharing all who are able to. Amen. And for all of you all who will watch this later, amen, we invite you to help us to celebrate the 75th birthday of Elder Henry Davis. Amen. When we put his cash app information up, amen, we are inviting you to sow a seed because he has been a great blessing to the thousands, in fact, millions across this world. Amen. And I'll talk more about him later, but tonight I want to introduce to you as we move higher in the Lord, Elder Dr. Henry McKenzie Davis, originally from Rockville, Maryland. Amen. Playing, started playing at the age of four years old, uh, composed his first song at five years old. He was the pianist for the original Howard 
gospel choir. Amen. He, and, for, and for those of y'all who, who knew about the Howard Gospel Choir, please keep uh, Reverend Rosalind Tompkins Lynch in your prayers. Amen. In the 60s and the 70s, he was the pianist for the Calvary Crusaders. Amen. Then he became, then he was also the pianist for the Voices Supreme under the leadership of Dr. Robert, the late Dr. Robert Fryson. He was also the pianist for Archie Dennis Jr. and the pianist for the Morris Cerullo Crusades and also for Billy Graham Crusades. What a major impact he's had on many across this earth with his God-given gift, amen, of tinkling those 88 keys, amen. Now, we're going to talk more about uh, the, the, the accomplishments of Henry Davis, but I tell you, well, how about let's get started with some music. So would you all please welcome uh, and wish, I, let me get my applause together. We're a happy 76th fifth birthday, I want to say 76 so bad, but 75th birthday of Elder Henry Mackenzie Davis. Let's get it going. <laughs> Take it away, Elder. <laughs> Welcome, man. Happy Amen. birthday. I hope you had a great Thank day. You. Had a great day. Had great church service this morning and uh, just looking forward to this evening. Amen. 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 Man, let me, let me tell you something. Just, uh, you know, we got tributes. We're going to play a little later, but let me just first tell you that when, as a little child, when I got a chance to see you, the first time I got a chance to see you play was at Zion Baptist Church on Blackman uh, Avenue in yes. Northwest Washington. I don't know what was going on. I don't know if it was a DC chapter event or what, but I tell you that inspired me um, to no end. It still has an effect on my life. I'm still trying to play one day at a time, just like you played it that night. <laughs> wow, wow. Well, you could I, do that. You could I do never, that. I never forgot it. I said I have never heard anybody play like that in my entire life. Oh, thank so you thank so you thank you for being such an inspiration. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, yeah. Let's talk about, you know, let's talk about some of the songs that you have written. Uh, you know, you, you, you know, a lot of people know you as a great pianist, but they don't know all the, did you write that song you just did? Yes, I did. I did write and, God And where was that recorded on? Because I've heard that before. That was the independent label, and I uh -huh. put that out myself, uh, but that was in the 70s and did that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, do you mind doing us one more that you wrote, and then we'll come back? We'll do that, sure. Yeah. Sure.
that's awesome. What's the, what's the name of that song? That was titled I'll Go. I'll Go. I'll, I'll Go. go. And Myrna when, Summers and when, and recorded that. Say that again? Myrna Summers recorded that. Oh, she did? Yeah. Oh, that's oh, awesome. No, Who yeah. did that awesome set for you back there? They all had them decorations. Oh, the wonderful people here at Pinal, uh, Emily Cooper, and some of the staff here at Pinal did that. Tell Dorian to switch that, that feed one more time so we can see it. So switch the uh, switcher. Yeah, that's beautiful. That's awesome. Yeah, it is. That's awesome. Thank you, Pinal yeah. Ministries, for helping to Absolutely. celebrate a wonderful person's birthday. Amen. I'm going a, I'm to a, I'm a play a line of a song, and then you tell me what comes. You just play whatever comes to mind after I play it. Okay. okay. You ready? I'm ready. <laughs>
How about this old one I used to hear you play back in the day? Dr. Henry Davis, and we having a jam session tonight for his 75th birthday. Hey, if you'd like to sow a seed into his 75th birthday, we invite you to do that. His cash app is coming on the screen, and if you need to PayPal or Zelle, we'll put our information up for you to PayPal or Zelle, and we'll make sure he gets it no later than in the morning. Amen. We are happy, happy, happy birthday. Let me ask you a question. Do you remember the first song you wrote when you were five? I do. Uh, It was a song uh, dedicated to my grandmother. Mm. Uh, To play it for you tonight, I can't remember it, (laughs) but I remember a a lyric that said that Granny's up in heaven with the Lord Jesus and the sweet angels watching over her. Amen. Amen. You wrote that at five, huh? At five, yeah. You had some understanding of who Jesus was at five. I, yes, I had some understanding. My father, I come from a family of ministers, so mm-hmm. I was a church child. So, yeah, I was familiar with the Lord, yeah. So when did you uh, give your life over to Christ? I gave my life to Christ. Well, here's, here's the story. So mm-hmm. uh, I'm in the church all my life because the, the Word of God says that your gift will make room for you. Mm-hmm. And it did. But uh, the gift is not the same as having a personal relationship with the Lord. Right. And it wasn't until I came to Penal here in 1989, after years of ministry as such, uh, that I really gave my life to the Lord and allowed him to be who he wanted to be in my life. Wow. And I, I, yeah. I remember as a kid hearing you tell stories about how God delivered you from certain things and, and you, yeah. you went from D.C. to Penal Ministries. I remember vaguely that transition. Yeah, yeah. It was after years of, of blessing people, uh, I would see, especially with uh, the Marcerillo Crusades and uh, mm-hmm. Billy Graham, I would see thousands every night give mm-hmm. their lives to the Lord. But uh, the Lord allowed me to be with uh, the late Archie Dennis Jr. for over 20 some years. And he put me with him so that I could see the, an example of a true man of God, uh, because we traveled all over the world, and I got to see him on stage and off, and he was a man of God. So I got to see there is the real thing, and there's always the counterfeit to that. Mm. And so when I got ready uh, to accept the Lord, I knew that he was real, 
And uh, so I thank God that uh, that happened. Yeah, isn't it a, uh, I remember when I came to Christ, isn't it, it's, it's, it's a different thing when you make up your mind that this is where you're going, this is what you're going to do. Like, yeah, like you absolutely. hear people, you know, you, you, you can join the church and you can become involved, but there is a moment in your heart and your soul when you say, I'm in this thing all the way. Yeah, yeah. It, it, mine was when I came to the end of myself. I realized that unless I was willing to uh, acknowledge uh, my true condition, mm. that I could die. There's no way I ever expected to be 75. Mm. I fully expected to be gone long before now. Mm. But God. But God. Intervene. And uh, here I sit tonight as a trophy of his grace. That's a blessing. That's a blessing. Yes. yes. Look, look, look. I'm, 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 I'm 48. What do you tell a 48-year-old at 75? I'll tell you what my father told me. He told me, keep living. He said, keep living. In essence, if you keep living, you're going to find out. And I, <laughs> and I have. <laughs> but as a, as a 40-something musician, one of the things I would say is uh, don't compare yourself to anyone. Amen. Uh, comparison is the killer to authenticity. Mm. Uh, God created us unique as individuals. The late Danny Bell, Danny Bell Hall wrote the song Designer's Original, mm -hmm. and it just emphasized the importance of us finding out who we really are, that God did not make two of us. Of all the people in the world, you're unique and I'm unique. Praise and one of the th things that I see the uh, enemy doing is trying to get, up, get us off course by comparison. And uh, I would also say, to, especially to some of the young musicians, um, as soon as you can, as early as possible, find out what your purpose is in life. Find out the giftings that God has given to you. And one of the main reasons is because if you don't identify your purpose and what your giftings are, other people will. Mm. And you can be taken off course by yeah. other people recognizing your gifting and your purpose and using that gifting for another, for their purpose, I'll say it like that. And so you're using your gift, but you're not fully able to express who God made you to uniquely be. And so it's very important that you uh, identify what you're here for and uh, what God wants you to do with the gifting that he's given to you. Amen, amen. We're going to play this, this, this tribute, and then afterwards, can you come back and play my song? I want to hear the rumble of the piano. You know what I'm talking about, don't you? <laughs> And you start off, I believe you start off with, uh, I know One Day at a Time is in the medley. I think oh, you, start, you may start off with okay. Yezu or whatever, but it's the rumbling of the Henry Davis piano. Okay. <laughs> yes, we go, we'll be right back, everybody. <laughs> Birthday, Dr. Henry Davis. <laughs> you know, 75 is the new 55, and you are living proof. The Bible says the Lord reserves the righteous. Just saying. <laughs> All right. Henry, you are our brother. We thank you for many years of global ministry. We thank God for you. Absolutely. It was over 25 years with my dad, Pastor Archie Dennis, your mentor, and over 25 years with Pinal Ministries. The list goes on and on. Henry, you know Pastor Dennis's favorite saying, may you live as long as you want, but never want as long as you live. Yes, and in the words of Apostle Claudette Dennis, my mom and your mom, in a sense, your other mother, she would always say, the Lord is good all the time, no matter what it feels like or looks like. He's still God and he's still good. Congratulations. Congratulations. We, we love, love you and we and salute, salute you. you. Hi, Henry. It's your cousins Montez and Phil wishing you a 75th birthday. Henry, happy birthday to you. 
And may you continue to do beautiful things for God in music and in service. Happy birthday, Henry, from your friend, Minister Becky Mae Sanders. I love you. God bless you. Bye-bye. Pastor Henry Mackenzie Davis, we wish you a very happy birthday and may all of God's blessings continually fall on you without ceasing. God bless you. Enjoy your birthday, kind sir. When I first heard the name Henry Davis. I heard that you could play, but man was that an understatement. When you sat down to the piano with the Calvary Crusaders and the Voices Supreme, some of that time I was listening more to you than to your singers. A profound writer and arranger, a stellar ensemble director, your gift of music ministry is outstanding. And though your domicile is elsewhere, you are still one of Washington, D.C.'s premier pianists. Your pianistic prowess is heavenly. Your humility in the face of your greatness is wonderful and serves to teach those with gifts that it is more about the gift giver than being the gifted servant. One of the best seasons of my musical career was singing background vocals for you and that solo that you gave me on Lord, You're the One. Though you have been a music mentor for me, I am more delighted to call you my friend and my brother. As we age, sometimes the most brilliant of gifts fade, but friendship and brotherhood do not. Thank you for who you are. So from Bishop Murphy to Pastor Davis, from Jeremiah Nathaniel to Henry McKenzie, Simply from Jeremiah to Henry. Happy 75th birthday, my brother and my friend. God bless you in Jesus' name. We have more on the way, amen. But go ahead and take it away, Dr. Davis.
You should have seen me Henry, in here reenacting all of your piano moves to my wife. Really? You're sitting like, you're looking at me like this. You're just like a kid. 
I was in here going in. I was like, he's going to do that run right now, and he's going to pause. And then I turned around and counted before you came back in one day at what? a time. <laughs> That's too funny. Hey, man, I'm trying to tell you, that, that is an iconic medley. Thank you. Iconic. Talking to Mike. Make sure you're talking to Mike for us. Thank you. Appreciate that. Oh, no, man, we appreciate you. Hey, listen, it's your birthday. Tell us, you know, I'm going to ask you some questions. And, and they're probably nobody asks you or if they interview you, but what's Henry Davis's favorite color? Blue. 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 Favorite food? Everything. <laughs> <laughs> you like to eat, huh? I love to eat. I do. <laughs> Who do you like to listen to when you need to relax? Oh, wow. That's a good question. Um, it really depends, you know, what I want to listen to, you know, mm -hmm. uh, because I like a variety of artists and a variety of genres of music. So to name one particular person right now, I'm sure I could come up with them later, but right. <laughs> yeah. How about you? Oh man, no, no. I, I, but I, I appreciate you, man. Every now and then I see you pop in on in, in the chat and I really just appreciate it. I'm, I'm absolutely honored. Absolutely. Um, who did you idolize uh, musician-wise when you were young? Um, well, I think uh, those in the D.C. area. Well, Mother Shirley Berkeley. Mm -hmm. I remember she came to our church in uh, Rockville, Maryland. She was playing for the men's choir of the Jerusalem Baptist Church when I first heard her. And I could not believe that this little small woman <laughs> was playing the piano like she played it. And oh, yeah. it was so inspiring. And of course, uh, I continue to love her and admire her and respect her even today. Uh, I remember uh, Herbert Picard. Oh my goodness. Woo. When I heard that man play the piano, I said to myself, that's what I wanna do. Lord I had have never mercy. heard. I had never heard someone play for lack of a better word, a gospel piano with the technique that he had played. And also uh, Lucy, who played for the R Roberta Martin Singers. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, I re remember when the Roberta Martin Singers would come to Washington, Lucy would play the introduction to the song, and you wouldn't even want to hear the singers after that. <laughs> she was that extraordinary. Wow. And then I can't, I can't forget... Uh, my aunt Pauline, when I was first starting out, they would allow me to sit on the piano stool in my church. I couldn't even, my feet couldn't even reach the pedals. Mm. But my aunt Pauline uh, and uh, uh, several other ladies would allow me to just sit there beside them. And I'd hit on the piano sort of like that, uh -huh. but they would encourage me. Uh, Sister Elsie Mae Fleming, uh, mm. the late Elsie Mae Fleming would allow me to do that. And so I've had a lot of inspirational people in my life to, to encourage me. Did you have any interaction with Pearl Williams Jones? Absolutely. I'm thank Wasn't you she for something? Her. Oh my goodness. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I'm speechless. She was absolutely extraordinary. Yes. Extraordinary in terms of personhood, uh, in terms of inspiration. Uh, I remember when I first heard her, again, I was in awe. I just was in awe of what she did with the piano mm -hmm. uh, uh, in classical wise. I mean, just fantastic. Yeah, if my, my, uh, I, I never met her, but my teacher in college, Alton Street, the first yes. thing he did, well, first, of all, first of all, he talked about you a lot when I was at Bowie State. Oh, wow, he's a and fantastic then, uh, organist. And then, yeah. And, yeah, and then he talked about Pearl Williams Jones and he sh started showing me some of her technique because I guess he and her were close. Uh, you know, she had passed away by then, but he was telling me, I've got, he said, if you, if you learn how to make your fingers independent like Pearl Williams Jones, then you can yes. do things that many people cannot do. Yeah, she was awesome. Just awesome. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but, you, but you know what? You are awesome too, and um, you've inspired so, so many people. What is it like, uh, or what was it like uh, during those days when you were doing those crusades in front of all those thousands of people? Were you ever nervous, or you just you just went out there and did your thing? Not not in the crusades because there were so many thousands of people in the mm -hmm. congregation. 
that you really did, it wasn't that intimate, so mm -hmm. I didn't feel that kind of intimidation. Mm -hmm. But when we, when I was uh, ministering, let's say, with the smaller groups like the Calvary Crusaders or the Voice of Supreme, where it was a more tight-knit group and I had more influence in terms of the music and its arrangement, mm -hmm. uh, those were sometimes challenging because uh, I felt the music was just a different kind of music as opposed to crusade type right. music. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. You know what, you, you, uh, you played for Robert Fryson in The Voice of Supreme, and I guess we cannot have, let this show go by with you, with, without you playing a little bit of God Is. But what was that like? They were some singing, they were some singing men. Yes, yeah. So that was quite a privilege. Uh, mm. Again, uh, Dr. Robert Fryson was uh, the epidone of uh, writers. I mean, I, I did not realize at the time what we were really creating. And uh, right. so... I feel very special to, to have been a part of that. He would always present the songs to me first uh, so that I could get a, a pianistic interpretation for the group. And uh, so a lot of times I was the first musician that would play his original song. So that was mm. such a privilege for me. Yeah. Wow. And God Is is one of those songs. And uh, yeah. Yeah, well, if you don't mind, play a little bit of it for us, please. Sure, sure. playing that song with him in the voice of Supreme? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Use your mic. Absolutely, I do remember that. And uh, I remember even when uh, James Cleveland was getting ready to record it, record it he um, used the track that we had uh, to, to formulate his arrangement. Oh, wow, wow. Yeah. You know, last time you were on here, we were just so, me and a friend of mine, Scott Cumberbatch, were just talking about how you, how you are a master of B. Like, not many musicians play in, in the key of B like you do. I mean, we, we, we get okay. through it so we can get to C. <laughs> <laughs> I hear you. I hear you. Yeah. 
But you stay in B. You live in it. <laughs> yeah. 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 I love was the there key. a particular teacher, anybody that kind of challenged you to, you know, uh, to, to learn keys and things like that, uh, mastered them? Um, I think it was a personal challenge because mm -hmm. when I was younger and I didn't play in all the keys, I, I remember saying to myself uh, one day, if I can play in C, mm -hmm. what is stopping me from playing in other keys? And so I, I sort of psyched myself up to realize that there is a way to, to transpose or to translate that same key and another key. So I just demanded of myself uh, to, to do that, yeah. Right. Do you still play every Sunday? Yes. I play right here on this stage at the Pinal Praise Community Church wow. every Sunday morning. Do you uh, preach often? I preach uh, not often, but I mm -hmm. do preach here at the church, yes. Okay. We might have to bring you online so you can preach uh, so people can see a different side of how God uses Elder Henry yeah. McKenzie Davis. Yeah, it's, it's like, I can't say a lot of musicians, but that, that was a challenging part for me to stand up and proclaim the word of God because I'm so comfortable sitting mm, behind absolutely. the piano. And so that's one of the challenges the Lord has given to me is to, uh, you can do that now. Uh, Dr. Marion Spellman, who is the founder of Pinal, she, she said to me one day, she said, there is more to life than a piano. Mm. And I knew what, it, what she was saying to me uh, was that you've got that. Right. Allow the Lord to expand you. And so that's what I've been doing as I've been here at Pinal, is allowing the Lord to expand my gifting and to be challenged and to be vulnerable uh, to, for the Lord to be able to use me in different ways. Yeah, I used, to, I used to have to play first before I preached so I could just calm my nerves. <laughs> I understand. <laughs> Did you ever have to do that? Well, it, it turns out like that. Usually we'll have a song before the message, and uh, even now I'll, we'll do the song, and then I'm thinking the whole time, now I've got to get up and proclaim the word. <laughs> so it, it does help. It does help. It yeah. does help. Yeah. Get them nerves together. <laughs> yeah. 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 Wow, man. Well, you, you, are, you are definitely blessed. I want to encourage everybody, amen, to sow into the life and the ministry of Elder Dr. Henry McKenzie Davis. His cash app, his PayPal, Zelle, all of that is on the screen. Hey, would you be a blessing to him tonight? Be a blessing to him. He's made it to 70. Oh, what a blessing yeah. it is to make it to 75 years old. Let's be a blessing to him. I want to thank God also for Reverend Durian Coleman, uh, who got you all set up tonight. Yes, I wouldn't even be here if it wasn't for Dorian. He is such a blessing. Dorian, is, let me just take a minute to, mm -hmm. to bless the man of God. Now, if you want to hear a preacher, mm. come one Sunday morning when Reverend Coleman is speaking, and you're going to be blessed and challenged and changed by the word. Uh, this wow. young man is so loaded with potential, mm. and we're just so blessed to have him here at Pinal as part of our ministry team. Mm. Wow, wow. There's a little song that you um, gave me and, and to ask me to help try to learn it with you. And uh, you, you want to do that now? We can do that now or we can take some requests. It's up to you. I'd say let's take the request. You want to take the request? Okay, y'all, yeah. look, we're taking requests on birthday, 75th birthday. Come on, put your requests in. Let's see what we got. And we'll, we'll, we'll do the best that we can. Amen. Amen. That's right. So us. thank you for sowing the birthday seeds you are. I see plenty of people on here tonight. Maestro Stephen Key is on here. Of course, Bishop Jeremiah Murphy and my friend Kent Brooks from Chicago, uh, Illinois is on here. A uh, whole lot of great people uh, on here tonight. Oh, Carmel Tate Miller, ask for glorious is the name of Jesus. You Okay. Yeah, play a little bit of that.
Hallelujah, hallelujah. What a wonderful, that's one of my favorite songs of all time. That's an awesome song. Yes, it, yes is. it is. And it brings you right into the presence of God without fail. Yes. yes. <laughs> without yes. fail. Without <laughs> fail. I agree. Uh, from, my, from my friend Christopher Dingle, uh, great and marvelous God, um, you called me out of darkness into light. The power of Satan is broken. I'm free, I have new life. I'll shout your praises. How great you are. Your awesome presence lives inside my heart. And you're a great and marvelous God. You're a great and marvelous God. Marvelous God, your great and marvelous God. That's for you, Chris. Uh, Jeffrey Corey uh, asked for I found God. Hmm. Wow. <laughs> That was beautiful, man. Thank you. You may not know this, but that was one of the first songs that Richard Smallwood ever sang. Uh, Is that as right? A solo at the, we, the Howard University Choir, Gospel Choir, recorded that, and uh, he sang it. So I was honored to have him sing that. I would never forget the duet that you and him did. Was that at Israel Baptist Church? Yes. yes. Yeah, that was iconic. Yeah. I'm, gonna try to, was I'm gonna try to save privileged. that video and enhance it. Well, thank you. I was yeah. just privileged to yeah. do that. Yeah, that was, that was an iconic duo that you all did. Well, Henry has one more tribute uh, I didn't tell you about. So uh, we have another guest that's going to join us tonight. Okay. Here, Here he, he comes. comes. Hello. <laughs> hey, brother. Talk to my mic. Hello. <laughs> Happy birthday, hey, man. Hey, MD. Come on. Okay. okay. That's, that's a surprise. surprise. <laughs> How, How you, you doing, doing Mark? <laughs> Happy birthday. Wonderful. Thank, Thank you. you. Yes, sir. Thank, Thank you. you. Wow, wow, wow. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's what, what I'm saying. saying. <laughs> so, so let's, let's do, do this. this. We, we have, have a little, little, um, little, little echo going on, but that's okay. So let's do this. 
Henry, I brought him on because he can help us play some of the requests, but also I thought we should do something together. So uh, I'll start something, Mark will pick it up and you end it, but you get to choose the song. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> How, How great, great is our God? How great is our God? Yeah. Okay, let's see what we do. Mark, you ready? Yes. You want me to? Everybody, this is Maestro Mark Payne. If you don't know it, he's been on our show many times. He is an awesome, great musician, and he just celebrated 25 years yes. of music ministry at the church he served. Let's give him a big round of applause for that. Yeah. And they just celebrated him. Amen. And so, Mark, thank you for coming back and joining us tonight. You, you and, and I, I talked, talked about, about this, this, and we're and glad, glad to have, have you back. back. Yes. Okay, okay so this, so this is how we're going to My best friend, my uh, musical inspiration as well, and uh, he's just a fantastic man of yeah. God. Yeah, absolutely. So blessed to have him in my life. Absolutely. I'm, I'm, I'm blessed that he's my friend. Amen. Me and Mark done sitting around. We done tried to iron out so many technical problems. We friends now. <laughs> <laughs> he can do that. Yeah. All right. I'm going to start it off. I'm going I'm to start at A flat and then y'all take it where you want to take it. So I'm going to pass it to you, Mark, and then Mark to Henry.
by God tonight. Mark, um, I'm going to give you the floor. If there's anything that you would like to say uh, to Henry or about Henry or give us a story, um, I just want to give you some time to talk. Wow, there's so much. Uh, I could go all the way back to the first time I met Henry Davis. Uh, talk to my mic real good. Can you hear me? Yeah. Yeah. I can go back to the time I met Henry Davis. We were, uh, I was playing at a church in Baltimore. Some of you remember the name Jones Tabernacle Baptist Church. Uh, I think it's just called the Tabernacle now. Uh, and uh, I was attending a service and at the time it was gonna be the Voice of Supreme and the Calvary Crusaders. I had never seen them. And uh, the organist for the church was Donald Milburn. And he said, Mark, you've never heard anybody play like this. And I was like, oh, okay, you know, I thought I was kind of a piano player, you know, I thought I was going, I was doing something. And uh, he, uh, he said, Mark, you've never heard anybody. And he sat down at that piano and changed my life. And after I, uh, some time went by and my mother was sitting next to me at a church in Washington and Archie Dennis was preaching and he stopped and he said, uh, I want four people to give me a, a song. And uh, so people requested four songs. And he said, what you've done is you've assembled a medley for Henry Davis to play. And so he put this medley together. And as I'm sitting next to my mother, who's my biggest fan, she begins to speak in other tongues and cry unto the Lord. And I was like, you know, I want to have an effect on people that does that. And from that moment is when I said, that's what I want to do. Henry Davis, I celebrate you. Happy birthday, 75 years. It's just unbelievable. You look like you're 50. Go, go. <laughs> and thank God uh, that he's preserved you, and thank God for the influence you've had on so many people who are watching tonight and so many people who are going to be inspired by what they see and hear from your life. Thank you so much, my brother. appreciate you so much. Yeah, Dr. Day, I just, I just wanted to bring... I asked Mark when he was on last month, I said, let's come on, let's surprise Dr. Davis. And um, That was know, a surprise, was, a good surprise. Well, you know, Very if one person is going to give a tribute, it's got to be your, it's got to be your pal. <laughs> yeah, I appreciate that so and much. And I will never forget, and it will always be one of my unforgettable moments in my life was to be able to bring you two to D.C., and to do a concert. I will, I will always be uh, in debt to the both of you all and thank you all for doing that. That was one heck of an evening, was it not? It, it was. was. Uh, uh, the presence of the Lord was so there. And uh, thank you uh, as you've done for so many thousands. Uh, you're just a blessing to the body of Christ, Philip. And uh, I want to encourage you tonight and say personally thank you for this opportunity even tonight. Uh, to uh, have this opportunity to be presented to the people of God and to uh, express what I'm able to present. Uh, so thank Amen. you so much. We want to say happy birthday to you. Everybody, it's your time to sow. Uh, let's be a blessing to Henry McKenzie Davis tonight. Uh, he has 75 years of life, but he has umpteen years of music ministry, his preaching ministry, if, you, if he's been a blessing to you any time in your life, amen, let's be a blessing to him tonight. And Henry, we're almost through tonight. I want to thank you again. Thank uh, Elder uh, thank Reverend Dorian Coleman. Thanks all yes. those who decorated the sanctuary to, for, to, to give a nice visual. Amen. You certainly deserve it all. But we are not going to end until you go ahead and give us one more, whatever your choice is. Uh, bless us again, and then we'll come back. I want to also thank uh, you. You may have heard him and you didn't see him, but I have a percussionist here. Yes, he plays he heard with him. me e every Sunday for, I'd say, over 20 some years. Uh, and uh, I want to thank LaRon Jamerson for being here tonight. He is a faithful man of God, and I want to appreciate him tonight. For Amen. That. Thank you, Brother Jamerson. God bless you for your faithfulness. And it's something to, be, something to be a drummer and to say, I've been in that church for 20 years. You're not yeah. going to hear that too often. <laughs> no, he has been. He has been, yes. Amen, amen, amen. Well, I turn it over to you if you want to say okay. something, if you want to play, whatever you want to do. Yes. Um, I'm going to uh, play a song that uh, Andre Crouch wrote, and for many years I've, I've ministered the song, and the song says, You're the song that I sing. You're my 
everything. It's called all, I think the title is All That I Have, uh, but I'd like to minister that song tonight. the song that I sing You're my everything You're my dream come true All that I have I give to you For the rest of my days I'm gonna sing your praise No less can I do all that I have, I give to you. That was amazing, man. Thank you so much. And I, I want thank to you. say uh, and thank, you know how they say this concert was brought to you by, I yeah. must say this concert was brought to you by the wonderful supporters of the Hymns family, um, yes. those who, who, who help us to bring uh, the, those maestros and anointed people like you back to the forefront so that people can feel that anointing um, you know, uh, so thank you, Dr. Davis, for joining us tonight. Thank Happy you. birthday to you. Thank you for thank allowing you so me much. to do this for you. 
I was honored when you said, when you asked me, could we do it? I was like, man, this is an honor of a lifetime. Full circle moments for me. Thank you, know, you so I much. Had, last week I had Gail Jones Murphy sitting in my chair yes. in my house playing. <laughs> and this week I'm, I'm listening to you. And I just asked my wife permission uh, to bring you and Mark back to DC so we can do it again. Amen. <laughs> I gotta ask for permission to do it again. Yeah, you know, I, <laughs> there's, a, there's a process here. <laughs> I understand. There's, there's levels of authority. There's levels of authority. There you go. <laughs> but we need to yes. make that happen one more time. That was a glorious time, and I believe we can do Absolutely. it again. I'm praying that God will give us strength and keep us healthy uh, to be able to make Amen. something like that happen in, in 2024. Amen. So Hymns family, I'm just putting it out there. Sometime in 2024, we're going to do it again. And we're going to be live this time in person. So, uh, But until then, we're going to keep on doing what we're doing um, online. And God be with all of you. Henry, give us some parting words, whatever's on your heart. Uh, minister to us tonight, and then we'll go ahead and sign off. I want to be very clear that I'm here tonight because of the grace and the mercy of Jesus Christ. It's because of him. Uh, I think 75 years uh, in spite of myself, mm. God has been faithful. God has been my deliverer. He's been uh, everything. And the one thing I could say to everyone listening is that you can put all of your weight down on Jesus Christ. You can depend on him for healing your past, for your present, for your future and your eternity. You're in good hands when you trust the Lord Jesus Christ and his word. His word will never fail us, and it cannot fail us. So to those of you tonight that uh, are not having the best of days, get in the word. Allow the Lord to encourage you and know that this is just the season that you're going through and that victory is on its way. And God is faithful. He will not leave you alone. Uh, to those young musicians, give your gift back to the Lord and allow him to use you however he wants to do that. Uh, but I want to say and thank the Lord Jesus for keeping me. Uh, I wrote a song some time ago that said, God is keeping me. Oh, yes, he's keeping me through the power of his word. He's keeping me. God is healing me. Every day, God has healed me. He's been my healer, and he is my healer. So I want to thank the Lord tonight. Uh, it's because of him that I can even sit here, and I just give him all the praise, all the honor, and all the glory. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. And to all of you all, thank you all. If you're just joining us for the first time, welcome to Hymns with Philip Carter. We're here all the time in the morning and on some evenings. And Mark, thank you for hanging with us. We're going to cut up yeah, a little bit when this broadcast is over. So thank you, for, thank you for hanging with us tonight. Hold on, let me turn your mic on. Go ahead. Can we just do one thing since it's his birthday? Can What's we that? sing happy birthday? You want to do, do it? Let's do it together. All right, go ahead. Go ahead. You, you start, start out, out finished. finished. Happy birthday.
Happy birthday, Dr. Davis. Thank you so much. Thank you Thank very you. much. Everybody, have a good night. May you not worry about anything because you prayed about everything. Everybody, y'all hang on so we can talk. <laughs> Thank you.